everyone this is David and I am a homeowner and in this video I am replacing the outlets in the house so I am not a licensed electrician I worked in industry repairing pumps and valves uh, then I went on to get my degree in mechanical engineering and I've always had fun with electricity because you know being mechanical you can see everything and electricity you can't see the electrons so that can really <laughs> throw you for a loop literally so what I'm doing is I'm replacing all the outlets in the house with the Leviton Edge yeah, push click done these are very nice for homeowners uh, so I will go over what I have learned. Uh, let me grab one. In the picture they show the extra piece here, but I'm going to go grab one real quick. So here we have one where the top is still attached. And what I do is I just uh, went ahead and broke all those off because I used a standard size plate. Turns out I was so excited when I found that they make them larger and I bought the next size up which I can't even think of what the plates called right now when you buy the next size up but there are at least four size plates possibly five and they get larger wider taller however you want to think about it if you have the larger wall plates you're gonna you're gonna need that I'm gonna leave it on so it'll fit into the wall plate more better. You can see it fits but it's too long there. So that, that's what's going on. If you had the larger plate it'll fit right in there and make things tighten up. With the tops off I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. Alright to start the work you're gonna need the power off and with the power off you're going to pretend that the power is on because when you do all your work you treat all wires as if they're alive and you'll get along much better in life that way uh, you should have a little tester to make sure that uh, the power's off one of these guys is perfect you know just plug it in and plug it into both outlets and if you have wall switches plug it in flip your wall switches and then plug it in the other one and flip your wall switches because at least in this house I have come across where the wall switch controls one of the outlets <laughs> oh yeah there's a lot more to it <laughs> so you need to be careful so if you want to separate your outlets here's the tab right here between the two blacks you just break off that tab and now the two outlets are separate and that's how you do that so uh, I have it I don't have that in my house so I just uh, thought of it while I was doing the video luckily the other thing is uh, there is your line length now since I've done so many lines I pretty much know how that is I I've been cutting them a little bit short by eye and you will see that when I do this last this outlet here but there's your gauge your insert gauge and then your uh, insulation should start somewhere in this region right in here or the edge there so anything else I need to talk about oh yeah one more thing I have come across three wires three wires going into the outlet instead of two so what I typically what I do is I will cut a length of wire then I will have you know like two lines coming into the top and one line coming into the bottom on both sides so what I'll do for the two lines is I will get like one of these Waco three-way connectors and I will put the two lines here 
and then I will cut a length of line and run it from the Waco connector to the outlet and then I'll have my two lines into one to the outlet because there's no way to put three lines in here just can't do it oh that's the switch sorry about that see there's only four in the ground so if you have six in the ground <laughs> gonna have to do something oh you can also do the twist ties so you can twist tie all three wires together and then and then go to you know the one outlet and then have the single uh, going to the second outlet you can do that too uh, but I just I just like these Wacos because it's click 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 just like this is click 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 and you're done next is your cover I like to use these screwless covers see they have screws in them but actually this plate goes on the outlet and it screws into the top and bottom so that goes into the outlet and then the top plate clicks on to the uh, other plate so that they go together. And then there's a little tab at the bottom so you can take the cover plate off. So this goes on the bottom and of course it's difficult to read white on white but there it says top. So that you don't see the little cutout when you're standing above the outlet. Alright so let's start on the outlet. And step one is I am right-handed so I'm working on the left side of the outlet. Why? That way I have my power hand working towards the outlet. Let me show you. That makes life a whole lot easier. So for removal I'll take any setting, doesn't matter. Uh, for installation for the top and bottom screw typically I'm around a four if that won't do it because there's a ton of wires in there preventing it from going in I'll go maybe to a six or eight but that's all I've had to do and then for the plate this is very important the plate go down as low as you can you do not want these screws in there tight if you strip them out you ruin them uh, a lot of times they don't line up correctly and if you're playing around with them and you try and go in too fast too hard you you just ruin them so let's get this outlet out This one has uh, four wires, two white, two black. Uh, the code in my area says four inches of wire extending out. So the only time I've cut the wire, and I still had around four inches or so, is when I have the three wire scenario. You know, I have three wires, so that's... Uh, six three white three black all the grounds all tied together with one coming off to the outlet and that is a real mess inside the wall outlet it is it is just really jam-packed so when you try and stuff it back in because don't forget you are going in from the back here not the side so you got that inch or so that's normally on the side just coming straight out the back and you're trying to push that all in to the outlet box and that can be uh, tough so what I typically what I like to do is I like to do one wire at a time uh, one side at a time so I'll, in this case I'll do the hot white first and this is what I typically do. Alright, so the power is off because we're in the dark. 
I didn't realize that the light was also part of the uh, outlet so I'm gonna cut my wire to size have my little trash bag here my box that had all of the outlets in them and like I said I usually do the hot white first And you want to make sure it's seated. Another thing I found with these is you want to make sure they go in all the way. Typically they go in and stop, but that's not all the way. You want to make 100% sure you've gone all the way in and both of them are locked down. Uh, typically I do the ground first. It depends on how it's wired uh, because... I like to get it up and out of the way. And then these lines look a little twisted, so typically I like to get all the lines straightened out and then maneuver them the way I want to do it later on. There's that. Remember, treat them as they're live. Treat them as though they're live. And because some of these houses, especially if you're working in an older house, the electrical outlet box isn't labeled very well, if it's even labeled correctly to begin with. Definitely ran into that. And this one was hooked into the switch, the, the light switch. So you got power coming in, going to the light switch. So that's fun. giving me a little trouble. There we go. All the way in. You don't want to straighten it you can just cut off the loop and again all the way in make sure it's all the way in the ground is tough because you don't have the insulation as a guide so you just have to make sure it's nice and straight there we go give it a little pull make sure Because your wires are in toward all the way towards the insulation you know when you grab the side you know you're not potentially electrocuting yourself remember the power should be off but you have to assume that it's not so with these you can grab to the side push it in line it up screw it in Finally, I take the cover without the backing plate and I put it on there to see if it is okay. And I see that the bottom is sticking out a little bit. So I am going to shoot that in just a hair. 
until my plate is where I want it. Just a fraction more. Of course, just a fraction more. Alright. The worst part is when this side is out and this side is in to twist it because then you have to take the screws out, twist the whole unit around. I like to kind of wiggle it, shake it back and forth, and then get it in straight. If it's just top and bottom, you saw that, that's adjusted with the screws. Okay, so with that done, next we put on our plate, and again, setting of one, or less if you're using a hand screwdriver, and then trying to get these lined up is always, always a joy. So we'll get these guys in place. Of course, I'm trying to stay off camera. There we go. Got that one. Got that one. You can see sometimes it grabs, There's a, there was a border around there where the drywall was. I should have shoved that in a little bit, but I didn't, but that's okay. If your clips are flat, then your plate will be flat. And so, put that in a little more. Problem solved. There is your outlet. Now I'm going to have to do a separate video on switches because three-way switches and regular switches, they are different. Uh, this one you can see it has a travel on it, red travel there, but on this side there's also a red switch and it says test travel. This one says travel test, ground, common, so you know it's kind of it's kind of weird. All right, so that is the wall outlet. Uh, it, there is quite a bit to it as far as all the details are concerned. Uh, once you get rolling on it and you have everything down and you see that you're not going to get electrocuted, <laughs> uh, but you treat the wires as though they're live, then you should uh, get along just fine. So that's my little install the... Uh, Leviton Decra Edge outlets. Alright, so I have a little something. I forgot a little detail that I'm going to just stick in the video somewhere. So my apologies if this looks like uh, it doesn't fit. But anyway, so these outlets and light switches, especially light switches, you know, they're typically two, three, four. But anyway, when you put them together, notice there's a little tab right there. So you can fit them together. And they're equally spaced. This is very important for the wall plate that goes on. Because if you have just regular old, you know, $1.50 round switches and you just stick them on there, you're constantly adjusting them to the left and to the right so that uh, you can get the wall plate in between the spaces in the wall plate. So that's what these little arrows and cutouts are for, to space them equally apart. All right, let me shove that into video somewhere. Thank you for watching.